It was a joyful ceremony as the youth students, teachers and parents went their numbers to celebrate and give the 57th Youth Day a colorful grandeur that it deserves in the Tiko municipality, the gateway city into the southwest region of Cameroon. The patriotic fever that has never gone cool despite the trying moments, the challenges and all of the obstacles that are put by some unknown persons who may uh, want to destabilize not only their future but their excitement of joining the rest of the nation to celebrate this special moment. Not only did the population brave the odds of what we recently witnessed, but they came out in their numbers and they celebrated with joy and enthusiasm, proving that they feel the sense of attachment and they have sent a strong signal, and that signal is to those who think they can want to destabilize this unity that we all enjoy. The event that started at 10.30 a.m. with the arrival of the Divisional Officer for Tiku, Mr. Ka Vu Armstrong, had in attendance the Lord Mayor and Chief Shepherd of Tiku, His Royal Highness Chief Peter Misusoi Komit, Senator Fondasi Lionel, the Inspector of Basic Education, and a battery of dignitaries that were present to cheer off the students as they marched past the grandstand. The Tiku population has been pregnant celebrate this day and no matter the circumstances, no matter the odds, they have to celebrate it. And if I would put it in my own words, I would say it's a very huge success. It is the civic right of the youth of Tiko to celebrate. Because after schooling, they will sneak for this particular day for the youth to relax their mind, to enjoy and prepare themselves back again to school. It has been a very huge success, irrespective of what happens. You can see for yourself the tenor, the parents, the youth themselves. It should be noted that Tiko municipality being part of the southwest region with the ongoing socio-political crisis despite the unfortunate incident that occurred along the Tiko Dwala Highway as a means to inflict fear and distort the 57th Youth Day celebration in the municipality. The students, parents, teachers and the administration probably ought to make this celebration a joyful one.